Hello, Eddie. I'm glad to see you around tonight. I want someone to tell me trouble to. Why, what's the matter, Bill? Oh, the country's done and the boom and all on the count of prohibition. Why, Bill, I think it's a good thing. Look what prohibition done. It destroyed the name of Hennessy, the greatest Irish name in history. The name of Hennessy was in everybody's mouth, decorated with three stars, and always had a kick in it. Now, Bill, that's an original idea. Prohibition murdered Napoleon's army at the Battle of Waterloo and killed William Jennings right at the Democratic Convention. Yes, but he'll come back, will he? You know a cat has nine lives. Yes, so they say, but it made Sir Thomas Lipton take his shamrock off at the bar and put it in water. And it's the first time in history the Irish ever took water. You're right, Bill. The Irish are a great race. You bet your life they are. And now that we have won the cup, what are we going to fill it with? Lipton tea, sea land tea, Oolan tea, Solan tea, mixed tea, pink tea, or Irish tea. What we want is liberty. My old friend Patrick Henry was right when he said, Give me liberty or give me death. He certainly had the right spirit, William. We're a lot of dead ones now. Every man's going around with a face on him like a funeral and all for the want of a smile. The only liberty we have is a statue standing out there in New York Harbor, and that's surrounded with water. <laughs> I tell you, sir, the Irish God bless them did everything they could to keep prohibition where it belongs. Who invented your first submarine? Pat Holland, an Irishman? Did he do it for war purposes? Certainly not. He made them for the provision party so they could always stay where they belong, underwater. But they don't stay underwater, William. Sherman was right from what he said war is. Look what it done. It left Europe in ruins and put this country on the bum. Where is the spirit of 17 and 76? Is it in near beer or 275? Not so as you'd notice it. The only thing that's left is a half of one percent. And to get that, you have to get a prescription from a doctor. Oh, no, not as bad as that. Oh, talk of your man. Doctor says that every man's heart needs a stimulant. They tell us it acts in the same capacity as a carburetor does in an automobile. Well, very likely. I suppose pretty soon they'll have us all going around drinking gasoline. <laughs> Just think how things have changed around since we were babies. Yes, we got what we needed then. Yes, when we were babies, they gave us a bottle to keep us quiet. And now when we need a bottle, they take it away from us. Eddie, I'll tell you, there's no use for the growler anymore. Mike O'Brien, a friend of mine, held up the cannon and said, You were a good old pal of mine when full, but now you're dead. He placed a crepe around the can, then hung it on the door. Gone but not forgotten, we can't use you anymore. We can all sell up on chowder, there's no use for the growler. You can hang her up behind the kitchen door. Once we filled her up for ten, then we all were better men. But that was in the good old days of yore. Pussy foot, he lost his eye. You all know the reason why. Can you blame the working man for being so? Was that good old pint of beer made us all feel of good cheer? But there's no use for the growler anymore.